stretching her teeth, then they use open condom. See this guy? Ouch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Proco doctor and today we'll be talking about condoms. Nigeria is quite a populated area with a population of over 200 million. Nobody really knows the actual number. Um, today there's an estimate, tomorrow there's projection, but whatever. There are quite some challenges that happen with that amount of people living in a small area. So when it comes to condoms, there are quite a number of factors that are associated with it. Commonest one is the reduction in pleasure. In other words, you know they sweet like that. Ask anybody. The average Nigerian man will tell you, um, the reason I don't use condoms is because it's not the same thing as the real thing. Someone told me then they lick sweets with the wrapper on. <laughs> and it's, it's actually one of the craziest things I've heard. And that's because the people do not really understand the need for condoms. When it comes to condoms, there are two specific reasons why you should use condoms. Number one, it prevents pregnancies. As a matter of fact, it prevents 98% of pregnancies if used correctly. Number two, it prevents sexually transmitted diseases. Hmm if used correctly and that's the problem a lot of people do not use condoms correctly i was on the road with dr olawale and we had quite a conversation hi dr wale hey hi um so when it comes to sexually transmitted infections what's the rate of infections like well according to the world health organization one million people contact sexually transmitted infections every day every day yes every day and that makes it about 365 million people every every year Oh wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Condoms are not 100% safe. However, they can reduce your chances of preventing infections if you use them correctly, especially sexually transmitted infections. There are some effects of sexually transmitted infection. One of them is you can get cancer. Why? Cancer, like stuff from the small things, yes, especially cervical cancer. Almost every sexually active person has one strain of the virus that's responsible for cervical cancer. And so it's, uh, let me not get into that, Dr. Wale will be talking about that in our next video. Number two, you can lose the ability to get pregnant, especially when you get um, pelvic inflammatory disease, you know, that's like an infection that rises up from, you know, the nether nether area and then climbs up to the tubes and makes it scarred and, you know, stuff like that could really make it difficult to get pregnant. Another thing is it could damage the unborn baby if you have a sexually transmitted infection and you get pregnant at the same time. So with these few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince you that condoms are really important. And don't worry, I was in debate club while I was in school. Those are just some of the reasons why you should use a condom. So a boy bureau will never reach. And now the next question is, how does a condom really work? It's simple. A condom simply acts as a barrier between blood, semen, and vaginal fluids. So what it basically does is it stops these things I just called from one person to the other person. So it stops the semen from the men to the women, stops the vaginal fluid from the women to the men, and stops blood both ways. So it can either stop blood from getting from one infected person to the next or from the non-infected person to the infected person. These fluids can harbor germs such as HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. If you don't use a condom, these germs can easily pass from one person to another person. That's why using a condom is not just important, but using it properly. How do a lot of us use condoms improperly? That is where a lot of the problems lie many people and I'm sure including you what yes you're looking at me right now yes you have used the condom improperly it's it's simple to use but there are a lot of us who make mistakes and 
I understand that. We've all, we've all been there. This is a safe place. Safe place. You know, you can confess your sins and thou shalt be forgiven. But at the same time, we're here to dispel all those wrong practices. Number one, I hope you know that they don't use teeth to open condoms, right? Like, you're aware. But before we go into that, what, what exactly is the rush for? Are you, is it that if you use your hand and you use your teeth, that extra five seconds, somebody will change their mind? So just cool down, Think, relax. At the edge of the condom, there are serrated edges. Yeah, it was put there by the manufacturer to make the condoms easy to open. You see, it's that simple. Using your teeth just makes it easier to break into the condom, which increases the chances of you either becoming a father, before you're ready, becoming a mother before you're ready, or simply contracting one form of a sexually transmitted infection or the other. Another way people use condoms improperly. Cool down. Don't be angry. Why would you put a condom in your pockets? Pockets, no. Wallet for over three months and then bring it out to use. First of all, you have to know that putting a condom in a wallet and leaving it for over three months increases the chances of a condom leaking. They are easier to get, so you can always get them and they're not costly. So I don't see the rationale for leaving a condom in your wallet for over three months and then bringing it out and having the mind. Like, you know the fear? I don't, like, why? Three months, four months, one condom is in your wallet. That, that's, that's, that's like setting you up for failure. The friction of your Botox, sitting, standing, doing whatever things you do, and then the heat from your body to the wallet, to the condoms, can really create small holes and increase the chances of you either getting someone pregnant or getting infected with sexually transmitted infection. So there's, yeah, you know, just get, really affordable ones. There are quite a number of them in the market. Or are you part of the people that use oil lubricants to use condoms? That, that's, that's like the that's like a suicide mission, I think. It's either that or you're a kamikaze. You, know, you have a death wish or something and you just use oil, like oil lubricants. Like we did chemistry now. The oil lubricants will react to the latex and make them weak. When she says, I've missed my period, oh, you don't be surprised. It was your fault. You, you used, used granite oil. That's the problem. You used granite oil. Who, who uses this granite? Forgive me. Please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've heard granite oil, olive oil. Which other oil? Coconut oil and rub it on your skin it don't 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 it's it's not for lubrication especially when you have a condom on and the last one i heard was people reusing condoms like like guy how far now country hard but you're not too hard like that if you think i'm you use a condom once like do you rinse it like make me understand do you do, do you rinse it out you put soap and water and wash yes people reuse condoms and it's crazy no you should not do that that's that's like having a suicide mission it's it's better is a pure than nylon okay no it's not better but <laughs> no reason there's no justification in this world in the skies in the seas anywhere for you to reuse condoms did you like this video if you did then like share leave a comment subscribe it helps us a lot and if you like what i'm wearing there's a link below just click it and get yours but please don't don't ask me last price i'm begging you in the name of all things good don't ask me last price there's no last price just click and buy thank you so thanks guys i'll see you in the next one peace out also prevents oh, oh i killed the whole vibe <laughs> okay